Welcome to this Skillpad video resource, where we make learning fun. In this video, we are going to look at the classification of living organisms, a way we use to make sense of all forms of life in our ecosystem. An extraordinary spectrum of life forms exists on our planet, from the tiniest bacteria to the towering giraffe, from the deep sea anglerfish to the majestic eagle soaring in the sky, nature's creative prowess is on full display. Yet, with such an overwhelming diversity, how do we humans make sense of it all? The answer lies in the science of taxonomy, the classification of living organisms. Picture a giant tree of life, where every branch, every twig, and every leaf represents a different species. Now imagine trying to navigate through this vast flora without a map. Daunting, isn't it? This is where taxonomy steps in, providing us with a detailed roadmap, a hierarchical system that classifies organisms from broad categories to specific ones. At the helm of this hierarchy sits the kingdom, the most comprehensive taxonomic category. Five kingdoms classify all life, Animalia, Plantae, Fungi, Protista, and Monera. Next comes the phylum, a level that groups organisms based on similar characteristics. For instance, in the Animalia Kingdom, the phylum Chordata includes all animals possessing a notochord, like us humans. Below phylum, we find the class. Take Mammalia, for instance. This class encompasses all warm-blooded vertebrates with hair or fur, and females that produce milk. Order is the next rung down the ladder. Primates, an order within the class Mammalia include humans, monkeys, and apes, characterized by large brains and forward-facing eyes. Next, we have family. For example, the Hominidae family within the order primates includes humans and our closest extinct ancestors. Further down, we reach the genus. Homo, our genus, includes modern humans and species closely related to us, like Homo neanderthalensis, the Neanderthals. And finally, we arrive at species, the most specific level of classification. Sapiens, our species within the Homo genus, represents modern humans. Every organism on Earth has a Latin name consisting of its genus and species. This system, known as binomial nomenclature, brings uniformity and avoids confusion. So the scientific name of an organism has two parts. The first part is the generic or genus name, and the second part is the specific or species name. The genus name starts with a capital letter, while the species name starts with a small letter. For example, man belongs to the genus Homo and species Sapiens, so his scientific name is Homo sapiens. Now, you might wonder why scientists don't simply use common names. Well, imagine trying to research a cougar. This one animal has over 40 common names, including mountain lion, puma, and panther. However, its scientific name, puma can color, remains consistent worldwide. So, why not give it a try? Think of a few organisms you're familiar with, perhaps a dog, a housefly, or a bean plant. Research their scientific names and see how they fit into the grand tree of life. It's like learning a new language, the language of biology. Remember, taxonomy is more than just naming organisms. It is about understanding the natural world, tracing the paths of evolution, and appreciating the intricate web of life. It's a journey of discovery that starts with the broad strokes of kingdoms, and concludes with the fine details of species. And you too are a part of this fascinating journey. So dive into the world of taxonomy and explore the diversity of life. Thank you for using this Skillpad video resource. We hope it opened your eyes to a world teeming with life, each having unique characteristics that set it apart from others. Go ahead and check out other videos from us on this platform. We hope to see you again soon.